Hello, friends. Uh, well, that sucks. Where's my... Hello? I don't know what's going on. It's gone. Hello? Uh, do this. What happened? Oh, Christ. Everything's gone wrong. You. Why are you here? There we go. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. It's that. I'm an idiot. I swear I'm not an idiot. I'm just kind of an idiot. I gotta remember to, like, reorder this shit when my green screen's not on. Hello, idiot. Alana, what up? I kind of wanted to play Echo Gari today, but, uh... Hyperion kind of got in my head a little bit earlier. That radiation level in Hyperion fucking sucks. Hate it. Hard dislike. So just gonna play Risk of Rain today instead. I'm off work, so I can stay up late. Uh, I do gotta go to- hey look, it's me over there. I do gotta go to bed sometime, or maybe not, I don't really know. I kinda wanna flip my schedule this week. Cause I got friends coming in from out of town that I haven't seen. I've only seen them once since I graduated college. And we're gonna do some dumb shit. I get to meet his kid for the first time. Yeah, double me. Look at. Hold on. Let's see. Can I get it in frame? Oh! Oh, look at me over there. Oh, there. I'm doing it again. I actually don't really have much else to say other than that. I'm off for the week, so we can get going. Uh, the game is gonna show up in a second. I gotta turn the music off. There it is. Nope, that's not off. There we go. And then we'll go here and go like this. Whoop. Drawing an emote. I'm excited. Alright, so one thing I remember from last time was with Rex, we want to dunk a clay dune strider on abandoned aqueduct by throwing it into a pit. I don't really know how we're going to do that specifically. Um, considering that we can't push enemies, but we might be able to pull it into a pit with tangling growth. Maybe, I'm not sure. But we're going to go on Monsoon and see how we go. Might get totally destroyed considering I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> Alright, see, so I see an item, item, item. Um, I see item, item, item. Wow, okay. Got some good amount of items here. I hope the volumes are okay. They seem to be okay. We'll just hop on down, right? Early game, not much to talk about early game, it's really just kill some stuff, be, be on time, and don't die. Get us a little bit more complicated later on, you gotta really think about what items you're gonna buy, or maybe you wanna hit something, I don't know. Oh wow, not getting as much money as I had hoped. All the in oh, it's because we bought two items, Lamau. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stuff here. 
Was that an elite on the beginning? Three elites at the beginning. Root them. Ooh. Get away from me. My aim is bad and I should feel bad. Okay. Let's go grab this. Movement items early is pretty good. I am happy with that. We're gonna grab this and then that other item and then go hit our teleporter. Teddy bears are really good. First crowbar would be nice. Yeah, I didn't actually know for sure that the teddy bear could block the self damage from abilities, but it looks like it can. And that's pretty awesome. Cautious slug, fireworks, or random. Another teddy bear. Hell yeah. There was another one above me. I didn't even know. you then there was another item I saw it oh I walked right over it yo red whips really good early it's one of biggest Rex's biggest things is that he's slow we've already got two energy drinks and a whip being able to move around the map quickly is gonna be very helpful two more items too that's pretty good these wisps oh my god those elite wisps were terrifying why are there so many dude yo fish what up dude get hello get off me early infusions quite good That was close. See something out there. Another chest. Okay. Crowbar. What's the other item? Watch this slug. Nah, I'm good. Another teddy bear. Come on. Don't do this. Okay. Well, oh, well I mean, okay. I'm not going to complain that I got glasses. Hope you're doing well, fish. We're getting some really good early items here. Right, well, we are going to get out of here. Tainted Keeper. Oof. Yeah, that's kind of rough. All you need is Pyro. It's fine. Or Pyromaniac, not Pyro. Wait. Hello? Did I not hit it? Which one gives you immunity to bombs? One of them's 99 bombs, one of them's immunity to bombs. Whatever. You know what I mean.
pyromaniac. Okay, cool. That's what I couldn't remember if it was pyro. Oh, that's a missile drone. Pyro and pyromaniac. Yes, pyro is the 99 bombs. Pyromaniac is um, bo uh, explosion immunity. Yes. Thank you. One thing we didn't check is how much items are. 66? Oh, wow. Okay, we already got enough money. We barely killed anything. Oh my god, the movement speed. Let's go, dude. Two missile drones up here. Let's remember that. I also saw a large chest and a regular chest. That's useful for now, but that does provide us with some scrap later, which I guess is good. Some decent money to get, even though we uh, got it from afar. It's what, 120? 133. Okay. A little bit more money. Melt them, dude. Yes. Just realized what now? Oh, dude, I don't even understand how to play Jacob and Esau. Even the regular one. Oh man, if I could find a scrapper, I would scrap the stake for those glasses immediately. Oh, or the gasoline too. I would scrap it for either of those. Bobble's really good. In the second knife piece. Wait, with tainted. I don't understand why. Uh, but maybe it's probably because I don't understand the the, what, the, what the tainted variant of Jacob and Esau does. Followed by two things. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Ain't it? Looks like we're not gonna find a scrapper, but we can uh, definitely buy those two drones. And there's an equipment barrel here. Hell yeah. That's quite good for getting back at the end of a level. There was no Clay Dune Strider this time, though, so I couldn't get the thing. I 
And I'm not going to hit the 3D printers, even though there's the glasses there. Because it could take some really good items. We've got another infusion, dude. Are you kidding me? Tank and Jacob is turned into the Lost if hit by... Oh, does it only do it for that room or permanently? Or for the floor or... So you beat the floor. Oh, okay. So you could just do it at the end. Oh, there is a scrapper. Oh, I didn't mean to scrap that. Shit. I wanted to scrap that. Well. Guess we're going to be getting an extra... Um, glasses, I guess. Or do I buy one glasses, one gasoline? I think glasses. No, oh, that's a tough one. I think one of each might be a better idea. There was a missile drone here. And there was one over here as well. Somewhere. Is it right there? No. There it is. Is it a huge pain though? I mean, you could just do that room last, could you not? I'm gonna do two glasses. We'll find gasoline or will o wisp. At all is a pain. But I mean, if you've already cleared the floor, then it doesn't really mean anything, does it? Because if you have the Holy Mantle unlocked, you'll spawn with it. Or, um, will you? I think you should, in that situation. You, yeah. Without Mantle, that's kind of a pain. It's pretty easy to not get damaged in that section though, especially if you can fly, it should be a joke. Uh, two items back here. And a scrapper. That's good to know. Teleporter is... Not visible. Okay. Another item back here. The lack of AoE here is gonna hurt. I'm really... We're really gonna have to hope for some. Hear a guy walking around above me. I see a wisp up there too. Ooh, there's some money. Teddy bears, dude. Look at that. That's so good. Let's go buy all the... Go buy all those items that we didn't get. Instead of running around. Might as well just go get them. Crazy. And we can scrap this as well. Mistake. Not worth it. Solid Penny is really, really good. Key, we can scrap that too. Oh, feather, yes.
here to call me a bitch. That's fine. Uh, you know I love you. Probably bedtime though, right? I don't know where my teleporter is. But I think my drone is stuck. Oh no, did you choke a run? Testing drum stuff. Ooh, that's exciting. Accidentally went live. No, dude. Exalt. Yeah, it has been a day, hasn't it? Especially for you. Third big piece. Oh, man. Is it a very girthy piece? I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Wait, there's no bridge. This is super rare. Since when is there not a bridge? Hello? Okay. But yes. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? There's no bridge. This is the first time I've ever not seen a bridge. That I can remember at least. Oh, fungus, really? Haven't tested if the main stereo out to, I mean, if it's all going to a mixer and mixer in, there's no reason why it wouldn't. The question is, will it work in stereo? Because, you know, OBS can be uh, fiddly with that. Look at this thing hiding. Oh, another chrono bobble. Ooh. Sawmerang? Yes. I will take a Sawmerang. Interface main out to laptop three point. Yeah, I mean, it should work. Assuming that the interface isn't screwing with it, it should be fine. Fuel cell's pretty good. Why am I shooting fast? I don't have, oh, I do have a Berserker's Pauldron. When did I pick that up? Hello? I don't remember buying that. Mixer software is fairly good, but it can only send out two mics. Oh, so you have to mix in all your drums into one um, out, which that could be a pain in terms of volume leveling. Because you're going to have a mic and then all the drums on one. So managing levels could be uh, something. Unless you're throwing the drums into a separate mixer and then that mixer into your interface in which case then you can control all the levels just fine which that seems like a smarter way to do it if you have the ability do I have anything I want to scrap? I don't really think so mics to mixer use the interface software to mix send that out through the main okay it's not terrible Another key. I mean, I guess I could go scrap the key. I'm definitely scrapping the squid polyp. Ooh. None of those, dude. Look at this poor beetle. I'm gonna let that beetle live. Almost like, yeah, sound, yeah, looping it back is interesting. 
If it works, it works though. So I'm gonna scrap both the key and the polyp here. Everything else I think I'm a fan of. No 3D printers in this level though. I don't play bass well enough to play it on stream. Yeah, I was about to say you might you might have like a a, a loop that infinitely gets louder. <laughs> But, as long as you mute things properly, it should be okay. Oh, there is a 3D printer right there. Topaz brooch? Yeah, I'll take one brooch. How many do I scrap? Do I have three? That's two brooches. I think that's fine. I'm ready to panic and forget where mute is. <laughs> I understand that sentiment for sure. One thing we didn't do was check below for items. Yeah, see, here's one right here. So I've noticed that I'm ending up with a severe excess of money each level. So, that tells me that I need to be, if I want to be more efficient, I need to be hitting my teleporter earlier. And then going around and buying items. A pedal tuners. So, how do, how do pedal tuners work for drums? Pedal tuners for instruments make total sense. Or, I mean, I have a rack mount tuner that's really old, but I mean, it works. Drop a five-string bass to sense a, a while. I mean, l if you think about hertz frequencies, um, like if you actually think about what the notes are, like a, a especially when r related to a piano, if you count them by their numbers, right? Middle C, B, and C4. If you have a five-string bass, that the B on a five-string bass is a B1. You know, it's it's this. That's really low. Oh, I missed, dude. Is it a B1 or a B0? I don't remember. It might be a B0. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Oh, there's a Clay Dune Strider. And a Titan already? Jesus. Oh, we rolling, though. Oh, I missed. There's no B sharp or E sharp. I mean, there is. It's just the same as F or C. Natural. There's as you can put as many sharps on something as you want, and it does exist. All, it, all that really is is notation. It's the same thing as saying, like, there's no such thing as A flat, it's only G sharp. It's like, no, A flat, they're all the same. I've played music where, ev where the, the key signature is C sharp, which means every single note is sharp, which means if you want to properly notate another sharp in that key, it becomes a double sharp. Which, man, reading double sharps sucks. Or sight reading double sharp. Double sharps sucks. Yeah. It depends on how you, uh, what you consider proper notation and how you want to notate your music as well. I have money. I'm buying this drone. I would love a healing drone. Listen to all that on the toilet. I mean, thanks, Alana. <laughs> Always gonna be a tab, lad. There's gonna be some stuff you can never convey with a tab. 4,000, oof. It 
was the, the, the B sharps. I feel like that's you're saying something that I don't understand. But at the same time, Ben, I also can only read mute treble clef, so I can't I can't read bass. Oh. I never watched The Simpsons. I jumped straight to South Park when I was younger. And then when I went back to Simpsons, I was like an you know, I was an edgy twelve year old and I was like, this shit's too tame. I'm never gonna watch this. And ever since then it's just not as funny to me. I have come to see its value though. Not when I was younger. I can read, see, I can read treble clef without having to worry about it, but I, bass clef, not, yeah, about 30 seconds per note. I'm not gonna dislike the emote you're making, it's probably just gonna be something that I won't know. Right, so we know where our, whatchamacallit is. I wish I knew where more items were, though. This is ridiculous. Where are my items? Hello? What is that? Focus crystal? I don't care about that. Uh, here's two items. Steamed ham. You, why do you regret it? That sounds like a great time. Steamed clam, yo, Snippo. What up, man? Teleporter. I don't know if I want to hit that yet. Ooh, the island thing isn't here. Normally, this can get like really tall. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to hit this yet because I'd really, I'd like to get my legendary chest before the teleporter. But that might be unnecessary. Well, there is a severe lack of items unless they're like all hidden down here in this thing. Yeah, I just, there's just not a lot of items. Okay, cool. I'm hitting my teleporter. I'll go grab my red item after it. You've made it despite my directions. I don't understand. Dude, saw meringue. Did you see that damage? Oh my lord. Pedal tuners that aren't the boss TU3. Uh, I mean, a pedal tuner is a pedal tuner. To be honest. Personally, I don't ever use them anymore because you really only need pedal tuners if you're on stage because the tuner will mute and you'll, it'll let you tune but if you're not on stage and you're using an instrument the the little headstock mounted tuners I've used those forever and they've never done me wrong and they're cheap they work they're powered by watch batteries and they last forever I've never had any reason to use anything else although I do own a rack mount tuner It just kind of came with the set that I bought on the used set of rack equipment that I bought a while back. Alright, we got our money, so let's go buy our item. 
wouldn't touch it. Uh, the one I have works great for my five string bass. I don't down tune, but I own I only own five string basses and I use mine without any problems. For a seven string guitar, I'm not sure, but I guess I don't own guitars, so I couldn't tell you like what a good tuner for that would be, but. I, oh, hello. I have Oh, look at that hair, dude. What a mess. I just have one of these. A little Delta Lab tuner. It works great. Had it for years. I wish I could be of more use. I've just never had a need for anything other than what I already have. Oh, there's an item. Just need to make sure we don't go below. Oh, shit, you're right. Thank you. I noticed it, like, right as you said it, too. I looked over and saw... golden boy back here somewhere you beat a boss like that well that's illegal <laughs> 57 leaf clover is pretty good I'll take that yo Nikki what up I hope your morning is going well I'm gonna quickly run down this way just to make sure. Ooh, see? I'm glad I did. Look at that drone. Uh, med kit? Sure, I'll take two med kits actually. Woken up by construction? Yeah, I have to get up. I, I'm flipping my sleep schedule this weekend, which is not gonna be fun. But I will. So you sleep. <laughs> you get some sleep, man. Appreciate you being here. My morning is going great. I've been up all night because I work overnights. I have not slept yet. Probably won't for quite a while. Probably noon and then I'll take a nap. Yeah, I'm one of those weirdos. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Ow! Should have dodged that, dude. Can't just be standing there taking those hits like that. Okay, big boy. This is dangerous. Also, I didn't root you at all. God, you have so much health. Can you relax? Oh, you died. I don't even know how you died. There is a severe lack of leech seed in my life. There's a lack of... What else? Um, Harvester Scythe. Just tons of items. Tons of good items that could really augment this build to make it quite powerful. Ow! Is there a second one? Or was that it? Alright. 
Oh my god, my first item. Eight grand in, and I just got my first item. Not so good. There's another one. Nikki, have you seen this game before? You heard of Risk of Rain? Ooh, look at that. Haven't. So, the biggest thing to note is that it's, it's difficulty. It's it's a it's a roguelike, so it's you know it's kind of like run based, as opposed to like you know one long game. Um, and the difficulty in each run is time based. You can see in the top right the dif the difficulty, and I'm on. I just started playing on the hardest difficulty. Oh, alien head, dude. Let's go. Um, so the the scaling difficulty it scales very fast. So. I'm probably not gonna win for a bit. Uh, I will take the Old War Stealth Kit, please. Can't believe I actually said that. Not having an Old War Stealth Kit on Monsoon seems like a bad idea. And then, you know, basically you just go around, complete levels, get items. You can choose to loop or go to the final boss, so you could... Uh, what I'll probably do in this run is just loop. To get the experience about of playing on this difficulty. Oh my god, dude, another elite Lemurian. Elder Lemurian was terrifying. Look at all those items, dude. Oh yes, crit. More crit. I really, really love Harvester Scythe. Um, I think there's an items that crits heal me. That would be an incredible item to get. There is a rock in the way, sir. Can't just stand behind a rock. That's cheating. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh. Yep. Ow! Okay, 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 okay. Relax, relax. We need to root you. Blades. Blades again. Oh, man. Did I just push him off the side of the map? Dude, being on fire is bad. Help. I think I pushed Big Boy off the side of the map. That's really nice. Can't believe we got a red item from that gambling chest. That's insane. Squid polyp. Right. Who actually wants a squid polyp? Dude, those Elder Lemurians, the elite ones, the ones that have like a larger health bar and are weirdly colored, are terrifying. They can kill you so fast. I mean, on this difficulty, I can just die at any time, really. Oh! Ow! But luckily, this specific character is built around healing. Long in the plane, I think I have 70-ish hours, maybe a little more or less, somewhere around there. So, like, a decent amount, but, you know, a lot of roguelikes, if you really want to be good at them, you have to put a lot of time in. So, for roguelike, it's not that bad. Look, a squid polyp basically means whenever I interact with an item, so like buy an item or, you know, it, put an item in a 3D printer or whatever. It spawns a little squid turret. That's literally all it does. The squid turret isn't good. Its health decays, which means it disappears over time. Its range is bad. It's just a terrible item. It makes no sense to buy. Oh, death mark is pretty good, but I don't think I'll be able to get that yet because I don't have a lot of bleed.
I still don't see our teleporter. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of health. Have normal tissue growth in the colon. I mean, you're not wrong. Will o wisp, yes, so good. What is that? I am. I'm so glad I have a green scrap. Not having a Kinjaro's band or a um, Rinald's band has been bad, and I'm almost dead. Help! All right, everything's good. <laughs> But having that band is extremely helpful. It's a really powerful um, damage dealing item. We should be able to bounce here. There's, I can, it, I there's pr probably some weird off situation, but like, yeah, I, I personally can't think of any situation where I would want Squid Polyp over another item because the item pool that Squid Polyp is in is in the rare item pool or the green item pool, which is. So there's white, green, yellow, and red. Um, yellow are like special items. Red are what we would call a legendary item. I don't technically know what the name for green, so I'll just call them rare. And white are common, so like that's a white item, right? And you can see the items above my character, like in the little bar, you see they have like outlines of white, green, and red, and one yellow, I think. Um, but squid polyp comes from the rare pool, which a lot of those green items are really good. So I don't know why you would ever want Squid Polyp over another green item. Literally ever. I don't know what you're doing way out there. I killed your buddy like a long time ago. Also, when did you get here? There's probably, I could probably like find a buried reddit post about Squid Polyp being good in X scenario, but I can't think of any. Alright, there's my teleporter. And an item. Oh, look at you, trapped in the teleporter. I just saw that guy drop a lunar coin. That's cool. Give me El Coino. Then we're gonna swap this, because I want to loot. Teleporter aligns with the planet. Let's hit it. Who are we fighting? A grandparent. How many? Just one? Okay, that's not bad. Oh! Oh! Sawmerang is so good against those really large enemies. Fucking melted like a stick of butter, dude. Can still die to all these enemies though, so I do need to be careful. All these flying guys are really the worst. I don't have a ton of AoE. I'd like more gasoline and more um Will-O-Wisp. Really more gasoline. I can't really ask for a ton of Will-O-Wisp. It's a pretty rare item. Hello. See, that's a regular Elder Lemurian. Still dangerous, but not nearly as scary as the uh, elite ones. Grab this item and then we'll get out of here.
Excuse me. We're about due for another item that increases our max health, so something like a uh, an infusion or a titanic neural. I don't believe we can actually get titanic neural from chests. I think we have to get it from a stone titan. Ooh, that death mark was nice. The good part is, once you get this like, this far in the game, you don't ever really have to worry about, do I have enough money to afford something that you see on the ground? Because you're killing things so fast that you can afford everything. With the exception of maybe a legendary chest, if you find it early in a level that you start in. Because there are a few... Uh, there are a few... Levels that have guaranteed legendary chest spawns. In fact, one of them, it's always in the same spot, too. So you could just go straight there, which means if you start the level and just head straight there, you're probably not going to have the money, but... But if you're dumb enough to start a level and head straight to the guaranteed legendary, I mean... Come on. You know, you got... You, you know you need a little bit of money. You can't just get that for free. Ooh, Stone Titan over there. Gasoline is good. I'm a fan of that. Set everything on fire. We'd actually like a few more, to be honest, to increase the range. Monster Tooth, that would be something I might scrap. I don't really see the value in it, but I haven't really done a bunch of testing with it. Look at you. I'm coming for you, buddy. You wanna die? Oh, oh, another boss spawned. <laughs> it's gonna melt you real fast. Look at you. Dead and all. Oh, there's another drone. Not really a good drone, but I have the money. Might as well buy it. Going bouncing, boys. Whoop! Ow! Ow! Getting shot in midair, dude. Jerks. What is that, an emergency drone? Ugh. I don't really like emergency drones. They die. My other drones will heal each other. This emergency drone doesn't really... The emergency drones that I've had, they're really good, but like... They tend to just die off and not stay alive, which it's kind of just like whatever. You know, if you're, if you're going to spend a bunch of money on something, you kind of want it to live more than a level or two. But Ooh, teddy bears are very good for this character. Well, really all characters, but this one specifically. What is that? A printer. Stun grenade? Yeah. Get out of here. Beetle Queens? Whatever. I don't care about Beetle Queens. There are way too many wisps in the air. I need to kill them. And these Titans will blast me. Woo! That feels good to kill that much that fast. Look at all those Titans, dude. That elite guy. This red guy. He needs to die. Ow. Okay, we're all good. Three of you in one spot? Oh my god, watch their health bar. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, there must be another one somewhere. Is it down there? Oh, look at you. I'm coming for you. Melt Ted. What do we got? Another Will O Wisp. Hell yeah. There's this guy I never killed. We need some bleed. 
We need a couple tri-tip daggers. That would be really, really good because we're not really proccing our death mark very often because we're, we don't have enough debuffs. We need one more. Look at all those deaths that just happened because of double Will-O-Wisp. We'll do one last check for items. Wanna, uh, sir? I see another emergency drone. And another gunner drone? Is that what that is? Yes. Can't really say that those are worth the money, but I literally have nothing else to spend the money on, so... Worth the money is doesn't really matter. Ooh! Oh, he... Oh, he died anyway. Ha! Wrecked. Ooh, elite beetle guards. Ooh, this is an area where we could do our achievement if we push a clay dude. There's a specific boss called a clay dune strider. If we um, push him into a pit with our second ability, we uh, get an achievement. So that's cool. Maybe we'll be able to do that. Here's an example of one of those pits. Crowbar. Empathy cores. I forget. Oh, I know what those do. This definitely not get worth giving up our Titanic Neural for. What are you? War banner. Ooh, we don't have any of those. But honestly, this late in the game, can't really say that they're very, that valuable. Another drone, what are you? Missile drone, hey, I love missile drones. They do good damage. Scrap those monster tooths. Teeth? Technically, it'd be tooths, but that sounds really dumb. Oh, I'm dead. That's an elite gunner. That's terrifying. Uh, please die. Holy crap. Old War Stealth Kit just saved my life. These guys are really dangerous, that specific style of enemy. There's another one right here. They have a lot of health and their attacks can do... Can, they, I don't know if they could one-shot me right now, but it would be really, really close. Like these things on the ground, if I run into those, oh, that's bad. Look at you. There's another one right there. What is that? 3D printer for fungus. Eh, I'm dead. Oh my god. These gunners are so dangerous, dude.
more teddy bears. Ooh, chained deaths. Let's get the hell out of here, dude. This place has almost killed me like three times. Salmerang still putting in work, dude. War having one Warhorn isn't the worst thing, because we do activate our equipment every boss cycle, and sometimes more. So, it can be useful to us. Not super useful, but I think it might be worth having just one at this point. Definitely not prioritizing them. I don't see any items outside the area that I can buy. I mean, obviously there's that lunar pod, but I ain't about that. Not good enough at Monsoon to start spending my or to, to know enough about the blue items and know their risks and how they play out yet. Getting, getting something that will increase our health would be fantastic here. Another infusion would be amazing. That's a rock. Ooh, bird boys are here. Um, we don't have any harvester scythes. Um, having more predatory instincts would be good. Harvester Scythes would be amazing. Harvester Scythes um, give you a little bit of health back every time you crit. And we have a pretty decent crit chance. It's like somewhere in the 40%, 45%. Oh, see, here's an, an issue where I don't have enough money. Early on in the level. That's an... Elite Beetle Guard, that'll give us fat cash. I really gotta learn to stay in the air. We are definitely, it, based on the enemies we're getting, we are definitely going to be fighting either Beetle Guards or uh, Beetle Queens or um, Imp Overlords. I would prefer it be Beetle Queens, not Overlords. <laughs> Incinerator. Oh, you're terrifying. Alright, and now you're not because I used a Salmerang on you. Oh, Leech Seed, yes. Now we have enough money to justify just dropping it on that. Ooh, scavenger! Scavenger will give us 10 free items. That's not even a joke. 10 or 12? 
once we open his bag. I do want to clear out some of the enemies first. That way I can get a good look at what I'm picking up. Really, it was just that wisp that was freaking me out. There we go. Backup mag is really good. Crowbar, crowbar, bust. Eh, not a ton of good items. Berserker, yeah. Not a ton of good items, but we got some good damage there with the armor piercing rounds. The backup mag is quite powerful here. Just having one backup mag on this character is really what you aim for. Or what I've noticed you want to aim for. We've got... We just picked up four armor piercing rounds, so we should do a lot of damage to bosses, which is good. Doesn't help us against regular enemies, but against bosses, yes. Teddy bear, please. Always teddy bears. Ooh, hello. That death mark just, oh man, so powerful. All right, time to go bouncy bouncy. Look at all these elites, this is awesome. If only we had that, uh, there's a specific legendary item that every time you kill an elite, it gives you the power of that elite, you know, fire or whatever, for a specific amount of time. That's a really, really powerful item. The later you go in the game, the better that item gets because you end up killing more and more elites, you end up just stacking their power. I'll take gasoline, yes. What are you attacking? I'm right here. The large chest, dude. What'd you? Oh, I gotta kill this guy. Ooh, another one. Oh, another will o -wisp. Oh, dangerous boy. I got one shot. What I get one shot by? A beetle guard? I must not have been paying attention to my health. Unfortunate. Are we doing it again? I think we're doing it again, though. That was fun. F. Rest in peace. Alright, so we have an item right by the spawn. That's good to know. There is an achievement for pushing a certain number of these off. Alana, welcome back. Ooh, red whip is first item? Hell yeah. God, the sunglasses. If only you could, like, you know, triple up. Get two more pairs. Hey, I'm over here. Super lurk more. Oh, there's so many. Hands are cold. Oh, it's winter down there, ain't it?
What I want to do here is identify items up here and clear them. That way I only have to come up here once. Starting to get super cold, yeah. I don't see any items up here. Oh, there's one here. Don't see any up there, so. Monster tooth it is. Does it, it doesn't go below 50? Holy fuck, that's not even cold. That's like t-shirt and shorts weather. That's amazing weather. Oh my god! Oh my god, Renault's banned. Dude, what is this? What is this teleporter event? Christ. I died. I think I pushed some of those beetles off the edge though. Dude, that teleporter event was nuts. What was that about? All right, so one thing I want to go here is go to logbook. There's an achievements thing, right? Challenge. Makes you feel colder. Defeat 20 hermit crabs by chasing them off the edge of the map. Didn't I just do that? I thought I pushed a bunch of them off. Does that not count? Carry five lunar items in a single run. Oh, I can just cheese that, can't I? Defeat an elite boss on Monsoon. We'll eventually get that. What is our weather? It's going to get warm today. Oh, no, we're getting... Yeah, so right now, we have a high of 85, low of 69, 90% humidity. Our humidity never goes below... Actually, there's a day where it's going to be below 50 but normally we're at 50% humidity or higher, but like Friday we have a high of 93. Yeah, for th one, two, three, four, four days in a row we have a high of 93, which is like 35. But we are only in June, it'll get, it'll get really hot. Yeah, 34-ish. So we, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do a normal run on loader. See how this goes. God, why are you the first enemy I see? I fully expect in August that we'll be in the hundreds, which will be like 37 to 39. For, mul for many days in a row. It's 50. That should give me enough for this chest, right? Yes. Give me that. Ooh, that's really good for me.
Dude, two more big chests? What? Alright, well that's not a good item. I don't want that from a big chest. Come on. I'm scrapping that immediately. Get out of here. see any items. Oh! Hello. Wow. I didn't realize that, that that attack was that powerful. I missed. Can I make you walk off? Oh, like that. Honestly, this might be a good time to just farm this challenge. Since I have a feather and I'm on a spot where the beetles will fall off. Oh, I'm dumb. I could have jumped. Oh my god, I almost didn't make it up. That's decent for now. That'll be good scrap later, assuming I make it later. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh, two of them. Right, let's get the hell out of here.
Yeah, I know how that attack works, nerd. Woo! Ukulele. Oh, we be slowed. What I want to do is lure all these beetles off the edge. Look at them all. Yes. Goodbye. Keep doing that and throwing it underneath the map, I think. We'll have to check later if that counts or not. Like, I guarantee if we were to do another 10, maybe. Which we could do here as well. then uh, we would know. Because if we did another 10 and still didn't get it, then it's not counting. See, we could lure this guy off. Just start counting, maybe. We got some beetles. So this is good. So here's four beetles. Five. That's five. They bounced off him, Lamal. Equipment, yes. Cleanse all negative effects, that could be good. We're getting there. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, bleed. We could use some of that. Oh, I went flying, dude. I didn't want any of that. Thought I was running. I was not. Did not take the one I wanted. There we go. Losing the teddy bear kind of sucks, but not losing the bleed is also very good. Really good. There's our teleporter over there. Wax quail printer. I'll take a wax quail. Sure. Oh, it's 74. Fungus? That's no good. There's four more beetles. Let's get them to fall off into a pit here. It's also possible that these pits don't count as the edge of the map.
Yeah, I don't think these pit either A, this isn't counting at all, or the pits don't count. I think it's the fact I think it's the pits here that don't count. Because I wasn't getting money for those kills either. Let's go. What do we get? Berserker's Pauldron? That could be pretty good. So there was an item over there. Yes. What about everywhere else? There's an item there. So we have at least two to buy. Oh yeah, Berserker's Pauldron is super powerful. That's what I figured. I figured like it, it might not proc the most often, but when it does, our auto attacks do a lot of damage and they're normally pretty slow. But with Berserker's Pauldron, they're going to be fast. Mother... Yo, let's go, dude. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I had to keep throwing the thing through the map. We got in our tougher times back. Sci-fi this is such a good item. I'm definitely gonna buy a gasoline here. Oh, the Berserker's Pauldron's letting us run really fast too. I always forget that it does that. Wow, that was really good. Swallowed Penny and Keeper's Head, yeah. I am, don't even care, I don't care. Give me the Will-O-Wisp, that's better than Ukulele. Having one, now, if you already have a Will-O-Wisp, would you give up a Uke for another one? That's questionable. But, not having a Will-O-Wisp, I would give up a Uke for that. Having that detonation, especially on a melee character. We've already got three tougher times. This is pretty good. Scorched Acres. Is there a spot here where we could make beetles fall off the map other than the other side of the level? <laughs> I don't really think so. Got some money on that one. Oh, our teleporter's really close. Gasoline. I'll take another gasoline. Yes.
Ooh, getting some decent items here. I see an item up there, so I'm gonna grab this and cash money. Yeah, I would imagine these burnt, these fire elites can probably not be set on fire. Another wax quail. That's decent for movement. Won't complain, I guess. Another will o' the wisp. That's so good. There's so many good items up here, dude. This is pretty great. What do you got? Uh, give me a random. Well, really didn't want fireworks. <laughs> Damage. Oh, that was terrifying, though. I was losing a lot of health. Oh, and I got my ukulele back, too. That's really nice. Oh, well, this is not going to be good. Oh, that's right. I don't uh, take any fall damage. Loader does not take fall damage. That was a big chunk of cash at the end with these three beetle guards spawning. We don't have infinite money here. Three D printer for fuel cell. Hmm. Lots of three D printers. Key, banner. Don't really care for those. I saw this. the backup or do I take a random I'll take the backup I at least know what this does and understand I don't want to get an item that either a I don't really understand how to use or B an item that's just not worth it lunar pool don't need take another teddy bear It's going okay. Just doing a normal run. Trying to get used to loader. Oh my god. Give me that, please. I had a monsoon run on Rex go to first level of the first loop, and I got one shot by something. I don't even know what it was. It was like it was a beetle guard, and 
I don't know. I just I somehow got one shot by a regular ass beetle guard with 1400 health or something 1300 But it was fun. I haven't played a lot on monsoon so getting used to that the elites and the difficulty spike and all that was is something I need to do Oh, yeah, I mean the Royal Capacitor is... Uh, I love Royal Capacitor 1 for that. I can do that from anywhere on the map. Ooh. This thing. Yes. This is why I love Royal Capacitor. Give it to an equipment drone. Oh, boy. He gonna be zapping. One good thing that we... Oh! My God. Everything's fine. Um that we have in this build that probably just saved my life, honestly, is um, we already have four teddy bears on stage four. That's pretty fucking good. We really need... What is this? Is that a missile drone? We don't have any other healing other than our main attack, though. Other than, like, we have outside of damage or outside of combat healing. We need, like, leech seed or scythe or something. Uh, I think I'm just looking to loop, honestly. I just need to get used to playing loader, and especially when there's tons of shit on the screen and all that. I got an easy win with, with her, but that doesn't really say much, you know? Squid polyp. What a meme, dude. I think my first monsoon wins are either going to be Loader or Rex. Oh, backup mag. That's really good for getting around. I do want to get a few items before I start farming. Getting this is going to be helpful before I start farming for um, the legendary here. Because there's no reason not to do it if the game's going to give us one. Look at... No. You. Chrono Bobble's quite good because anything that adds extra debuffs is going to be great for once we start getting our death marks. Dude, we have two healing drones and an equipment drone now. It's strongest. I the one the thing that I've learned um, that somebody actually taught me was um, on the bigger bosses and more hectic fights. If you saw what I did with the Titan, where I like got into the air and spun around it while attacking it. That really, really helps you stay alive. Because all the shit on the ground, like Lemurians, they're just gonna miss. The beetles can't touch you. Beetle guards can't hit you. You know, when, when you're in those really insane fights, getting into the air and just spinning the fuck around is the way to go. For sure. Which is why having a backup mag for this is super strong, because it means if you ever end up in a position where you really, really need to get into the air, um, you, you have that extra opportunity in case you fuck it up. Oh, I'm frozen! Oh, teddy bear. Thank you. Thank you, equipment drone. Alright, let's go check out our cost here. Okay. 2,900. Ooh, that's a lot. Gotta do it, though. We're gonna grab this, and then we're gonna farm. Oh, guillotine, yes! That was something I didn't get a single one of on my Rex runs. My Monsoon Rex run, I got zero guillotines. What a travesty that was. Uh, I mean, we guess spending the money, I, I know we shouldn't be spending, but getting it for backup, that's pretty good. Let's 
see. Is that a large chest? Oh, regular chest. Okay. Ooh, hello. We are a third of the way there. Imagine not scrapping. Listen, if I had a scrapper, I would scrap the fucking squid polyp. Get that shit out of here. But I do not have a scrapper. Oh, there's one. Hey. How you doing? Imagine scrapping war banner. That's a thing I do. And uh, fireworks. Get the shit out of here. I think it would be interesting if there was a way to sell items. Oh, never mind. Don't need to hit him. Okay, our teleporter's up here. That's really good to know. I'll kill these elites and then we'll hop down and start running around. We're over halfway now to our... Because we don't need to buy that because we'll get that during the... What? Did my healing drone just die? Okay, no, that's another one. We'll get also get that during the teleporter event. Alright, so we have a couple items. We have two down here. The chains. Wow, there's a lot of items other than that legendary too. Jeez. Hey! No, I was thinking just like a static scaling price for white, green, red, and just like a scrapper, you could just get money for it. But I guess it that would kind of overlap with the purpose of the scrapper, wouldn't it? Ooh, that felt good, baby. I'm gonna kill you while I'm here. Oh, maybe not. Frost Relic? Sure. Why not? Look at all of you, dude. Ow. Look at all them dead boys. Hell yeah. I'll take the missile drone. And then we're gonna go up here. Oh! Didn't almost didn't make it. Hit that. Oh, and the tunnel is open? Jesus. Fungus, don't need you. Hey, come back. I need you to commit die. Isn't there a red chest around here? Yes, right here. Sticky bomb? Well, that's not very worth it. I remember this. Gasoline. Yes. Ooh. 
Ooh, hello. Oh, a scrapper, and there's a fucking... Oh, Christ. Okay, 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 okay. What am I scrapping here? Monster Tooth. Bustling Fungus. We're gonna have to clear the stage of items and then come back to this. Uh oh. So we're gonna leave here with at least five lens makers, probably more. Thank you for finally zapping something. Because we have, so we have a drone and an item near the teleporter. So we'll at least have two more items to scrap, and then we gotta search this tunnel as well. Another equipment drone, okay. Noted. Two Royal Capacitor drones would be nuts. That'd be fucking amazing. Oh! oh! Fucking rejuvenation rack, dude. Please, now give me Aegis. I unlocked Gesture of the Drowned. I don't know what that is. Oh, the, the, the Beatles. No, I was working on that today. Or in the early part of this run. Um, I did try something, but I don't know if it actually works. So, we'll know after this run if it worked. Welcome back. I just hit a shrine five times and gained nothing. I'm not giving you a thousand dollars. Get out of here. Have's equipment cooldown, but auto cast it. That's a risk of rain one item. Pretty sure. Carried me through runs. Yeah, I can see that being insanely good on on uh, with like Royal Capacitor, for example. It would be really bad on things like the Prion Accumulator, but um, those really quick ones. It would be really good. Uh, back up as well, I think. Would bring it down to like a 20 second cooldown. Dude, Risk of Rain 1 is a really good game. You should still play it. 2D, it's 2D, but fuck, who cares? It's really good. We did not get any items to scrap yet, other than the two we already have to scrap. Finally managed to beat Monsoon, that's awesome. I have not done that yet. All right, let's go do our teleporter and then we'll get some, we'll do our scrapping now, I guess. Hey! Get hit in the face! Woo! I'm frozen. <laughs> and then... What was I gonna scrap? The monster tooth. I'm getting attacked by so many of those things on the ground. Okay, that's actually terrifying. This is a great use of uh, staying in the air. Ow! 
I'm gonna die to fire. Oh my fucking god. Elite brass contraptions, please no. Oh, my equipment drone got fucked. <laughs> me up here baby let's go what happened oh he died <laughs> oh that's not what I wanted to do Really? God, dude, this arena is terrible. Why do I gotta face giant flying enemies in this arena? This is actually really obnoxious. Anything else would be too easy. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm waiting for him, dude. He's like fucking around over there. I don't know why he won't come into the arena, for God's sakes. to go like way the fuck back here look at them crawling around down there dude <laughs> there's another one where oh no is he like stuck somewhere Still looking for our boy. Look at them all, dude. <laughs> Are we soft locked? I don't see him. Found him. You coming down? Ow. Oh, nice, dude. You kidding me? Did he die? Oh, good. He fucking died. Jesus. What the hell was that? Oh, another chrono bobble. That was... I think we might have just ended our run by that taking so long, honestly. Oh, 
look at this. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, my pinky actually hurts. I'm hitting shift. What's going on? The only reason I'm alive is because of rejuvenation rack. Ooh, a grandparent and a soulless. Jesus. Can you relax, game? Dude, I'm holding the button, but it's not working. And you're dead, sir. This is gonna be my last run. I gotta get some sleep. I have to get up earlier than I normally do. And then I have to go to bed again. Gotta get up at what, like three-ish? And it is already nine. Can I fall? Thanks. All right, let's go get some fucking items. I've noticed that this run in particular has had a lot of flying enemies. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a fan. I know I've only done about two hours of stream, but I do actually have to get some sleep today. Even though I'm flipping my sleep schedule, I don't wanna just stay up all day. Learned my lesson on that one. Like, why did it spawn him and not anything else? Hmm, that's pretty good. Of course, more flying enemies. Can't spawn anything else. Oh my god. That this is obnoxious. Oh my god, give me that. Hell yeah. items. Fuel cell with Prion. Let's go! Oh, green. Another feather. Oh, this is crazy. Got all the jumps. Yo, thanks for the good lucks, man. 
Happy to see you. Come on, give me some items. I'm gonna go straight to Mithrix after this. I, th I was gonna loot, but... Uh, not when I saw the clock! <laughs> Ooh, drone. Oh! Everything's good. Oh, I don't have the money? Oh! Shit! Look at all these wisps! Oh, I thought it was all gonna chain react. There we go! Oh, how's it feel, nerd? Hey, sir, don't be hoppity hopping. Oh, dude, the music here is so good. I don't know how that parent just like up and just died. I mean, I'll take it, but. Also, anyone who is here, um, if you remember my Doom Eternal playthrough, Doom Eternal is getting an RTX update where it's going to have ray tracing, Vulcan ray tracing as well. I am keen on that. Not even DirectX 12 ray tracing, but Vulcan ray tracing. Gives me an excuse to do a nightmare run. Woo! Crowbar. Hey. I think we're just gonna hit the teleporter, honestly. Forget where it was. Oh, that's death mark. I will take a death mark, please. Ow! Hey! Teleporter was over here, wasn't it? Yes. Sure. Incinerator drone, why not? Mmm, double prion accumulator is so powerful. Love it. Oh my god, look at all the wisps. Dude, like I was saying, dude, it's just spawning flying enemies. I think it knows that I'm a melee enemy with literally no range. Except for my little zapper, which is uh, putting in work, honestly. Did I see something up there? Oh, it was just the chest. Okay. The one I already opened. Thought I saw like an uh, an elite wisp just hanging out. I don't even see any items. What is that? Is that a chest? Ooh, there is one chest. I guess we can go grab that before we uh, head to the next level. Hmm, that's interesting how that works. So I go like, ooh, yeah, just like that, okay. Wow, that's a, that's an angle. Ooh, whip, too. So if I go, like... Ooh, okay. Understanding more how to use the grappling hook. Especially when you have a wax quail. Leech seed's good.
Get me out. So going up here, you just want to, you know, jump with the quail and then Woo! Oh, we zooming. Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> I was trying to make it. Well, it worked out. It put me where I wanted to be. Oh, my frame rate was like really weird there. Like the whole game slowed down, but my frame rate was still like over a hundred. That was strange. Oh, these are so much slower on uh, normal, unless that's just this specific tower that's slow. I hope it's just these towers. I know the blood towers are really fast. Tower is complete. All right, so we have two blood towers and a regular tower. I don't have a lot of scrap, nor do I have a lot of items, so I really don't think any red item is going to be worth it at this point. So I think I'm just going to head straight for the blood towers. Oh, nice. Nice try, Pixel. How you doing, man? <laughs> Thought you, you, I mean, for, I will say, for like a split second, you had me. Things are going good. I want to stream a really, really long time. Because I need to flip my sleep schedule. But at the same time, I know that flipping my sleep schedule by just not sleeping for a day and a half or two days is not how I should be doing that. Ah! Fuck. Well, that's how things are. <laughs> Damn it. Which, unfortunately, that I was going to end after that one anyway. So you caught the end. Oh, Steam's... Actually, hold on. One thing I want to check. While we find a raid target. I want to check if the beetle things worked for the achievement. That would be dope if they did. Ooh, Zanian's on. Holy hell, he got a big raid. All right, yes, yes, yes. I just want to check an achievement game. No, not settings. Get out of here. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn those off as well. Let's see. Logbook. Challenge. No, that didn't count either. D 
demons in the crab. I'm gonna have to look up how to do this because I have no idea. Kill 20 hermit crabs by chasing them off the map. Do I not know what hermit crabs are? Oh, I'm dumb. Oh. Oh, I know what those are. I thought they were the... I'm an idiot. Okay. Now I see why that's a pain in the ass. Got it. Okay. Now we know. Who else is on? Not a lot of people are on today. Let's check out the SMW directory. See if there's anybody that I'm not following that I should be. Oh, music's not on. That's... There we go. I was like, something's not right here. I don't really see anybody that I want to raid, to be honest. Like, there's people I could raid, but they have, you know, more than more than ten times my viewers, so it doesn't really make sense to raid them. But at the same time, I'd rather raid somebody than not, so we will raid Zanian. I know Zanian loves me. <laughs> oh, this song! Why is my camera so tall? Hello? Oh. oh, that's why. I don't know why this is like not. Hello? I just noticed it and it's like making me. It's wigging me out a bit. I'm like half in frame. What's going on here? I guess that's better. Yeah, that's a little better. Whatever. Dude, this song's so good. Okay. We need to actually start the raid, don't we? I wonder, are raids working again? Like, if I do this... Hey, it's gonna work! He is playing elephants, and he is on the final boss. So, let's see, which one do we want? Oh, we're polar strutting, you know it. Oh, you know we're gonna go like this, right? I don't have Polar Strut, but he does. If you want to spend 100 points to grab the Hype Emote, I think you can do that. Um, pretty sure that's just a Tier 1. Please, give Zany in the love. I will see you guys probably soon. I do have some plans this weekend, but not all weekend, and I got a long weekend, so I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys.